Find a ladybug. Look in an area where ladybugs shelter. This may be under the leaves of plants where aphids are hanging about. Try roses and other flowers or fruit trees in blossom. They also like to hide in crevices and cracks on houses, such as around window frames. Ladybugs love aphids, it's their main source of food. Collect the ladybug. Look around the area and catch the ladybug with a small net or catch it with your finger or hand, but be careful not to let it fly away. Cover it gently with your other hand and be careful not to squeeze it. Place the ladybug gently in the jar and it's ready to be looked after. Making the ladybug a home. Use a large plastic container. The container should allow room for flying about and settling down to sleep. Add some twigs, leaves and petals for interest. Any leaf or floral material needs to be changed daily to prevent rotting. Give the ladybug something to hide in too, such as a hollow twig or a small toy with holes in it. A bug habitat could be used too. Glass jars are not recommended as they can heat up too much and burn the ladybug, especially if in direct sunlight. If keeping the ladybug for more than 24 hours, use a hermit crab house. They won't be able to get out of it, but they'll enjoy it. Place fresh leaves inside daily. You'll need to feed the ladybugs daily. Provide food. Feed the ladybug with small amounts of honey or sugar. Use a small bottle cap or similar to contain the food. You can also feed your ladybug raisins or lettuce. Add a piece of bark from a tree. Bark from trees tend to have bug larvae. Your ladybug will spend most of its time on and under the bark. Give them water. Do not use bottle caps for giving them water. Using it will increase the chances that your ladybugs will drown on it. Use wet paper towels or cotton balls instead. Feed the ladybug twice a day. Don't give it too much, just a little. Be dental when holding a ladybug. Here is how. Lower your finger and leave it near the ladybug. It has to touch the ground it's sitting on. Wait for it to walk or fly on it. Now you are holding a ladybug, but be careful. Consider releasing the ladybug back into the wild after 24 hours. After you've had time to observe its habits, then let it get back to the job it has to do, which is keeping the pests down in your garden.